Most countries in the world have been named after one of these things. A important person with some influence, a tribe or ethnic group, a feature of its land, or a direction describing a place. Welcome besties to another exciting episode on Sizzle's Diaries. I would like to wish everybody a happy new year. In today's video, we are going to look at arguably the oldest living person to have named their own country. It appears to me as though many countries around the world has gone through name changes as Namibia did, from German Southwest Africa to Southwest Africa to the Republic of the Namib and finally Namibia, the modern name we know today. The reason why this country has gone by so many name changes is due to the long history of different empires that have ruled over its territory. Its geographical location plays a huge role. Namibia is in a very interesting spot. It is sandwiched between the Republic of Angola to the north and the Republic of South Africa to the south. During the prehistoric period, it was apparently a common thing for countries to have directions in their names. We can explain German Southwest Africa by breaking up the three etymologies that make up its name. German Southwest Africa might have the simplest name of a country. The German word in it comes from the European country, Germany that is, that ruled over the territory from around 1884 to 1915. The location on the African continent, which is in the southwest of Africa. Namibia has 13 nationally recognized languages, with English being the official language of communication. Although majority speak the language, there is a handful of Namibians who speak it as a second or third language. Many local terms have been adapted to speak a new hybrid language often referred to as Namlish directly translated as Namibian English. Although the earliest known name she has gone by was German Southwest Africa, it couldn't have stayed long this way. The name changed when Germany was defeated during the First World War by the South African and British Army. South Africa continued with the name while dropping the German word in it, making the new territory Southwest Africa. The land that make up the modern nation we know today was renamed to the Republic of the Namib around the 1960s. We can conclude that the origin of the name Namibia is rooted deep in history. Its officially recognized name was coined by one person, and what is perhaps outstanding is that the person might be arguably the oldest living person to have named their own country. This person is Professor Mrumba Kerina, previously known as William Eric Getson. He was born on the 6th of June, 1932, in the town of Tsumeb, Namibia. He is a politician, historian, academic, and author who decided to change his name after understanding where it came from. Professor, as he prefers being called, said, and I quote, I was given that name by the missionaries when my rights as a baby were not recognized. But when I became politically conscious, I divorced that name and became known as Mburumba. 
The 89-year-old professor lives by the teachings of Gandhi. He, amongst others, were the first black men to have petitioned the United Nations on the conditions faced by his people while pursuing a PhD in Indonesia. He comes from a Catholic schooling background and was able to pursue his academic career around the world with the help of Reverend Michael Scott. It is in Indonesia that he got the inspiration to create a unique identity for his people. After all, he was not satisfied with the mere fact that his country was named after a geographical area which was named by the colonial settlers. Well, the clock was ticking and time was running out. This because it was right around this time that South Africa wanted to turn the country in its fifth province. That is when he wrote a proposal to the United Nations for the proposed name change. He proposed his country be named the Republic of Namib and the nationality of its people be referred as Namibians. The United Nations adopted this name to the Republic of Namibia, which is named after one of the oldest deserts in Africa, and the word Namib means a vast place. Despite the fact that he named the country after the Namib desert, he has never been to it until in 2016 at the age of 83. Professor Karina married in 2017, but sadly his wife passed on a month after their wedding from complications due to asthma. May her soul continue to rest in peace. We have come to the end of this video and as usual, help support this platform by watching our videos or dedicated playlists, liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. This helps in a huge way. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, besties.